What's going on guys? It's Max Max24 here. And it's Friday, which means it's weekly gamer. But before we get into it, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and with that, let's get into the weekly gamer. So this week, a lot more news, lots of it, so much, and I think I'm going to have a busy future for the next couple of weeks. First off, we'll start right away with World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth pre-patch has launched. Yeah, so that means we're almost to Battle for Azeroth. Legion's over, it's officially gone. Goodbye Illidan, goodbye Argus. You can watch my the 10 things I'm going to miss from that expansion in another video. It's on my channel, just go look at it. But... After this one. After you're done with this one. But with the pre-patch comes a lot of things. For starters, a humongous stat squish. I logged on and I went from item level like 900 something to like 200 something. Like that, that's a big, a big difference. You know, it, it was weird. So they did a big stat squish. Cause, I mean, numbers were getting really high. It's a lot more extreme than I think the one they did. I think they did one with Warlords of Draenor. It's a lot more extreme than that one. It's, it was weird, but yeah, there's a huge jet squish, so don't think you're glitch or anything. You just, you know, you're not as powerful as you used to be. Also, no more artifact power drops. I know, it's, it's, it's sad, you know? You can't go and get those little valiant, those like sword looking things and get some artifact power. Nope, not anymore, not anymore. Your artifact's all used up. It's dead, because, you know, it, it's done so much, so now the, the power's gone. Also... For those of you looking for something actual to do, new story content drops July 24th. It'll be all about the burning of Teldrassil, the siege of Lordaeron, three weeks leading up to the release of Battle for Azeroth. It'll be all the tensions mounting and all the war happening. and It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be great. And for all you cosmetic people, you can finally have your Blood Elves have golden eyes, you know? I mean, that's one thing I've been missing for my Blood Elves is having golden eyes. I mean, that's so I, I love it. And your Orcs can finally have straight backs. They don't want to have back problems. They won't be hunchbacks anymore. They can have straight backs again. So, that's there. For all you loot collectors and, like, transmog collectors, Legacy Loot Mode is a thing now. Where, I think it is, like, ten levels above the content, you will get the loot that you would get if you were like the highest tier so like if you right now at 110 went and did like some uh i don't know miss Pandaria raids you would get the loot that i don't even it's confusing but you would get like the loot that you would normally get if it was like five if it was like i don't even know it's you'll have to read about it it's just like you'll get the loot that like you would get if you did the highest level of competition and stuff yeah that also classes have been completely reworked so you gotta go learn your classes you know like re again it's like logging back in for the first time so go have fun with that go do that and there was a lot of other boring stuff that i don't care about another update launches july 24th besides the story content of battle for azeroth no man's skies next update yeah, so, so far it looks like I'm going to have two updates i got to play July 24th. Can't wait. But this next update is adding multiplayer, which is awesome. It's a very requested feature, and I'm excited for it. I love to play No Man's Sky with friends, show off my awesome base that I built. Unlimited base building, so I can really expand my base now. You know, it's going to be great. Finally, there's character models that you can customize and look how you want. So, you know, I mean, that makes sense. There's multiplayer now. you got to see each other. Yeah, so you can customize your character model and stuff. A complete graphics overall. It looks amazing. It looks it looks gorgeous. And then after that, they're going to try to do weekly updates in the form of missions and cosmetics and stuff. So yeah, look out for that. No Man's Sky. It, when it came out, it was sort of bare bones, but it's it's gotten a lot better. Another update launches July 24th. Yep. July 24th is going to be a busy, busy time for me. GTA Online After Hours. Let's you buy clubs, gay Tony's back, you know, you can dance, have DJs, you know, you can have a party and run some secret illegal businesses. But yeah, so that's three updates launching July 24th, so I'll be down here playing them if, if you're looking for me. And 
a couple days later. See if Thieves is an update. Yep, another update. Oh, jeez. This is just too much for me. I just, I just can't handle it. The life of a gamer is hard. But yeah, an update launches July 31st. It's called Cursed Sails. It's got new three-person ship for all you people who just were playing with three people. I was playing with two people, so, you know, not really three people. Um, alliances you can form now, which is awesome. You know, you guys can all get together in your little boats and go swimming. Uh, and then skeleton ship enemy AI. Finally, I was looking for, I wanted something more on the sea to fight instead of just players because that gets annoying. I wanted something more, and we were getting something more. Skeleton ship AI. So there will be three weeks of like some missions and stuff you can do and then after that it'll be everybody you know you can access all this stuff but these three missions you'll get some cosmetic or something i don't even know but yeah so that's four updates coming within in the next two weeks i can't wait another update i'm talking about it has no release date but you can sign up for a beta right now the ps4 systems update 6.00 we don't know what's in it Nobody knows what's in it, but you know if you if you want to go sign up for the beta, you can and find out what's in it. Yeah, you do that. Have fun. Also, one of the best news is ever. Halo's not gonna have battle royale. Oh, thank God. Huh. I was worried. I was really worried. There was rumors going around that Halo was gonna have battle royale, but you know. Oh, thank God. No. Oh. I mean, Call of Duty, Battlefield. You guys, I I thought. If Call of Duty did it, I thought Battlefield would be the chosen one and not do it. But no, Halo's the chosen one that's not doing it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Guerrilla Games is expanding to make games a lot quicker. They want to make games within two to three years instead of six years that it took them to make Horizon Zero Dawn. So they're expanding. went from like 240 to like 400. That's a big expansion. So yeah, if you like Guerrilla Games games... You'll be excited. I loved Horizon Zero Dawn, so I'm excited. I want to see what more comes out of that studio. Maybe Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Hopefully Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Also, Microsoft is going to unveil new bundles at Gamescom. Some of you may think that they're revealing new systems because that's what was first talked about is that, oh, new hardware is coming out, and everyone freaked out. The internet freaked out. I freaked out. And I was like, oh, my gosh, new hardware? But no, it's not new hardware. It's just new hardware bundles. So, like, Xbox One X and Xbox One S is bundled up with games and stuff. That's all it is. Not new hardware. The new hardware is not supposed to launch to, like, 2020, apparently, rumored. So, we still got time. You still got time to hang out. Uh, some news that I don't really understand one bit. But Dragon Ball Fighter Z is having an update for all you Dragon Ball Fighter Z players. Base Goku and Base Vegeta are coming to it. You know, and then the Switch version is coming out. So it's, you know, I don't know what the heck Base Goku and Base Vegeta mean. But that's coming out for all you people who care. Konami did another Konami thing. You know, I mean, we just love Konami. I mean, everybody loves Konami. They're just they're just the best. I mean, yeah. They shut down the PT fan remake. So go you, Konami. You know, you canceled PT. So no, they're not making it. And then some fan wants to recreate it so that we can play it again. And you shut it down. You know, good job protecting that IP that you're not using. Good job. Yeah, hi. High five. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is getting an update. It's the one thing you've all been asking for. You've all been missing. It's not new tracks. It's the Breath of the Wild Link and Motorcycle. You've all been asking for it's not new tracks. It's a new skin for a character and a new motorcycle. <sighs> I'd really like new tracks, Nintendo. I want some new tracks. You know, that'd be that'd be great. But you know, you do you, Nintendo. You know, we can just wait out. And we can we can wait it out. You know, yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, Nathan Fillion was replaced by Nolan North in Destiny 2 for all you people who still care about Destiny 2. I don't care about Destiny 2, but for all you people who do, Nathan Fillion was replaced. So, there you go. Because he was too busy doing other things. The Uncharted film that I talked about last week, it was just a fan film. It was just a short fan film. Nathan Fillion played Nathan Drake, which is kind of funny because I think Nathan Drake is voiced by Nolan North, but... Nathan Drake, Nathan Fillion replaced him in a live action thing, and then Nathan Nolan North replaced Nathan Fillion in Destiny 2. I think that's just funny, you know, flip up. Maybe it's revenge. I think that's what it is. 
it's revenge. But yeah, it was just a short little fan film. You know, maybe it'll lead to something more. Maybe not. We don't know. But yeah, that's that's it for this uh, weekly gamer. There was a lot of news this week. You know, it's sort of picking up. And you know, I mean, if this was weekly entertainment, I'd talk about how Clone Wars is coming back and how excited I am for that. But this is not weekly entertainment. This is weekly gaming news. So we don't care about that. But yeah, so if you like this video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, click that bell notification to stay notified on when I upload. You know, all that jazz. Didn't I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, you can tell me and you can yell at me and stuff. I don't care. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.